Hello, this is uh, Jorge Carrasco in search of the truth. This is a Bible study theological center with uh, Pakistan uh, theological center with the Catholic missionaries or St. Peter's first. And we invite you to this uh, deep knowledge of the Bible learning. And this is audio book. And then we want to stop where we need to think that we could get more input about the Bible studies, and let's go start. Thank you. On the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Bible Studies in Search of the Truth Catholic Missionaries of the St. Peter's Friars Theological Center, Pakistan by Jorge Carrasco Frenadine Suleiman S. Omali Shanae Laredes and Joshua. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and share videos. You get it free, then get free of charge. Matthew 10 8. From 12, 2017. Finished November 25th, 2018. Book of Leviticus will be transmitted on three audiobooks. This is the one of three audiobook. The Sacrifices, Rituals, Laws, Part 1 of 3, Definitions, Glossary. Part 2 of 3 other audiobooks, Leviticus Book, Rituals, Sacrifices, and Cult. The Part 3 of 3 on another audiobook, The Body and the Blood of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Part 1, Glossary. Previous Questions and Answers. How can I learn the meaning of the source of the words? no matter in how many languages has been translated and how can i further understand the meaning of what explains the bible what is etymology what is etymology origin or provenance of words which explains its meaning and forms also discipline to study the source of the phrase its evolution from its shape and definition what are synonyms words that mean the same similar equivalent similar what are the antonyms words that mean the contrary or opposite what is the tabernacle about a portable sanctuary built by the israelites under the instructions given to moses by god or also known as tent meeting was the shrine dedicated to yahweh a synonym of tabernacle altar throne how is built the tabernacle it is composed of three parts. Part one entry, the place where people arrive before the priest to offer their offerings to God. Part two, temporary tabernacle. It is where is located the altar and the utensils to carry out the sacrifices to God. There was also the chandelier of seven lights, the table of the consecrated bread to God and more utensils. Part three, mercy seat front of the tabernacle divided with a veil on where it was called the Holy of Holies, or Mercy Seat, whereas the Ark of Testimony, which had two cherubim on top of this, and where contained the tablets of Moses, with the Ten Commandments, the manna that they ate in the wilderness, Aaron's rod that bloom as a sign that God had chosen him and his sons to be priests, and they would be the ones to do the atonement from men to God. What is altar? It is the place where there would be sacrifices, or at the place where we'll deposit the offerings. What is holy? That comes from the Latin sentence, which means to consecrate, canonizing, declare the Holy Spirit. Synonymous with the Holy Spirit, an apostle, beato, good, just, martyr, sacred, venerable, virtuous, canonized, divine, spotless, pure, predestined. Antonyms of spirit, convicted sinner, bad. What is the mercy seat? Is it the same mercy seat and saints of the saints? Enabling environment is something that has the virtue of making conducive or favorable, especially in the face of divinity or temple mercy seat. The Holy of Holies was located on the front of the tabernacle or temple of Yahweh. Yahweh descended and spoke with Moses there. The temple was divided between the Holy of Holies and the temporary tabernacle, and it was divided with the veil, 
and nobody was allowed to enter there, only to Moses. What is the Ark of the Testimony? Or Ark of the Covenant was a sacred treasure chest. What is the Holocaust? Burn the victim's sacrifice to God as a sweet savor to God. Synonym, offering, worship, ritual. Antonym, genocides, massacre. What is slave? The Latin immolate, the consecrated life of toasted wheat flour sprinkled with salt, which sprayed about animals that were going to be slaughtered. What is libation? Offering liquids, wine, milk, honey, which is poured around the altar in this case of the blood of sacrificed animals to consecrate the altar, do so pure, or bone or sanctifying, clean. What is to consecrate? Comes from Latin and means to make sacred. What are cherubim? They are angels, which were in the top of the ark, one on each side, two cherubim with six wings and were above the ark of testimony or Ark of the Covenant or Hood Sacred, and had two wings toward up, two wings touching between the two cherubim on each side, and two wings down. What is offering? The laws on the offerings God sets in this book, which is pleasing to God, that it was animals, vegetables, cereals. What is a proselyte? The so-called converts, whether people who reside in the same place that turns to them and joins their beliefs or that follows the same laws of the Jews and believes in the law of God. What is atonement? Comes from Latin and means action or effect of clean of guilt and this is done through a third person, in this case, the priests, which make atonement for the people, or perform the sacrifices and made libations of the offerings that the people leave to God and the priest offers on the altar in order to consecrate them to God as an offering for the forgiveness of sins. A synonym of atonement, repair, purification, sacrifice. Who was Aaron and his sons, and what function had in the tabernacle? They were the first priests, who were consecrated by God. God instructed Moses to perform the worship through atonement for the people of Israel for the forgiveness of their sins, through the offerings and sacrifices on the altar to be offered to God. Perhaps any person could be the priest in the tabernacle? Do not. How many children had Aaron? They were four, were Nebat, Abahug, Eliezer, and Ithamar. Book of Numbers, Chapter 3. The family of Aaron, the priests, Numbers 3, 1 to 4, as well was made up of the family of Aaron and Moses at the time the Lord talked with Moses on Mount Sinai. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, the largest, followed by Abahug, Eliezer, and Ethamar. These were the sons of Aaron who were consecrated with oil as priests. But Nadab and Abahud died before the Lord in the Sinai desert while serving the Lord because they offered him a kind of fire that he had not ordered. Since Nadab and Abihu had no children, only Eliezer and Ithamar served as priests in the life of Aaron, his dad. Leviticus 10, 1 at the 7. The sin of Nadab and Abihu. Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took their respective censers, and after putting fire in them and put incense on it, offered strange fire before the Lord that he had not told. And the presence of the Lord there came out of fire that consumed them, and they died before the Lord. And Moses said unto Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke, saying, As the Holy Spirit, I will be treated by the ones that approach me. And in the presence of all the people, I will be honored. And Aaron remained silent. Also called Moses to Missal and Elzaphan, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come here, you bring to your relatives from before the sanctuary out of the camp. And they came and took him outside the camp still in their tunics, as Moses had said. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons Eleazar and Ithamar, Uncover not your head, nor rend your clothes, lest you die and so that he wouldn't unleash your anger against the whole congregation. But your brethren, the whole house of Israel, 
they will mourn for the fire that the Lord has brought. Not even ye shall not go out from the entrance to the tent of meeting, lest ye die, for the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the mandate of Moses. Book of Numbers 26, 60-61 And Aaron was born Nadab, Abuhug, Eliezer, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord, who was allowed to be anointed on the Old Testament. Only kings, prophets, and priests. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ has compassion for the sick and shows them the anointing oil importance that was used to be as consecrated to the Lord and is sacred, which can help restore the health of the sick by the power that God has transferred to the anointing oil. James 5, 14 to 15. Is anyone among you sick? I called the elders of the church, and they prayed over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will restore the sick, and the Lord will raise him, and if he has committed sins will be forgiven. What types of sacrifices are there? Sacrifices for blame. Sacrifices for sin. Sacrifices of peace. Now I understand why Jesus Christ drove the merchants out of the temple, which infuriates. Matthew 21 to 16, 12, Jesus casts out the merchants from the temple. And Jesus went into the temple and cast out all of them that bought and sold in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are doing a den of thieves. And in the temple approached the blind, lame, and restore their health. But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonders that he had made, and the boys shouting in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, were outraged and said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus answered them, Yes, you have never read the mouth of small and infants you've prepared praise. In what part of the Bible is this phrase in the Old Testament? Psalms 82 By the mouth of infants and infants you have established thy strength because of your adversaries, to still the enemy and the avenger. As you could see, this is the first of the book of Trick, and it tells us about the sacrifice. There are three kinds of sacrifice. We have to resume this. There is, uh, let's go coming here, and this is the importance of the priest. The, the priest is the one that will gonna do the anointment for the people. If there is no anointment, there is no forgiveness of the sins. And there is so important the levitation that is through the blood of Jesus Christ to consecrate the temple, to consecrate the whoever needs to be forgiven for the saints. The other thing is so important that we have to understand how many sacrifices are on the law. If you remember, Jesus says on the Bible, I give in my peace, the peace as God given to you, not as the men, is because there are three sacrifices. Sacrifice for the blame, sacrifice for the, the sin, and sacrifice for the peace. Then Jesus doesn't have any blame at all. Then he couldn't do a sacrifice for the blame. Uh, he doesn't have a sin. Then he doesn't do a sacrifice for the sin. Jesus do a sacrifice for the peace. The peace I live, the peace I give. That's why in the commemoration of our church, we do that, giving the peace to each other. Jesus gave the peace, the relationship between God and us. That's what it makes us to get again back to God. He couldn't do the, the sacrifice for the blame. The blame means that's another topic that we want to do in another, another day. But he says like this, a blame means... Uh, in case that you see something that is wrong and you understand that is wrong, but you want to hide it because you don't want to be involved in that situation, then you are you have the blame of that sin because you cover the truth. Then that's why too many people ask me, or too many people says on Ephesians or Corinthians, they say, oh no, we were uh, forgiveness with the blood of Jesus Christ. 
But I say, okay, when I was maybe 20, I say, God, I want to be with you. I want you to you, you clean my body, your, your blood clean my body, my soul, and my spirit. But what about if I, I sin later on? Did I have to crucify again Jesus Christ? I don't think so. Then that's why the, the priest has to do the interception between God and us. You see, that's, that's why it's the importance of the anointment of the consecration of the priest. Sometimes the people thinking that the letters that were writing from Paul to Ephesians, to, to the Galatas, to the Corinthians, they think that they are writing to us, to the Gentiles. They are thinking that they are writing to us, to the proselytes, and that's not true. Is we thinking more deeper, we want to see that the seven churches of the apocalypse are in Asia, where is actually Turkey right now. Then that's why he says those writers to those, John made those letters to those churches, to the Ephesians, to the Galatas, and plus the Corinthians is in Greece. Then when, when Paul says we are with the blood of Jesus, or, or we just believe with Jesus, he could forgive us. Yes, because after the empire of Rome, he went to the Greeks, that was the, the, the empire before, then they win, and then they had too many gods in, in grace. And that's why they say, with the belief of God, the faith of God, of Jesus, and his son, you know, God and his son, Jesus, he will gonna help us for our sins if we believe him. That's why they get confused. We have to be sure what those writers are talking about it. Yeah, we wanna do, there are three audio books we invite you. We wanna be on Facebook and in all the world around. And we wanna be doing all this. This document has all the information about the Bible. And then if you need more information, let us know. Okay, thank you. God bless your number, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.